the side. I know um, we all got shit going on, but, you know, appreciate that you have some time for me. Of course. Uh, just off top, I'd like to let you know that I come to you, first of all, as a fan. Um, I'm, I'm really uh, a fan of your work, and uh, I appreciate all the shit you do, man. Like, seriously, your songs are, are fucking dope. And second of all, I come to you, uh, you know, as a, a person that would like to interview you and ask a couple questions, you know, and, and get some, some hype for the, for the album, you know what I'm saying? Awesome, thank you, and I appreciate you being a fan, man. I'm really a fan of your music, too. Glad I was able to meet you, like I said, in that first single. It just means the world to have some supporters and people I can work with right out of the gate. It's awesome. Right on, man. Right on. So, um, t to begin real quick here, um, I would like to ask you the, the number one question right now is like, when, when is the album coming out again? Like, let me know. Uh, the album will be out this Friday as of May 15th, and I'm very excited. I've gotten a lot of, like you, you've gotten to luckily hear it already and give me a little bit of feedback. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I'm super excited. Yeah, I'm so, I'm so excited too, man. I can't shit. All right, man. So, um, real quick, man. So, what's what's with the Pika name? Like, where, how did that come about? Like, like how long have you rocking that name? You know. Um, it's I've been wearing this hat around my hometown and performing uh, with my bands and shit since 2014. So I've been wearing this like get up for like six years now and everyone around my town knows me by Pika, so it just kind of stuck. And I was like, well, shit, if I'm gonna have a name like mine will not use my real name everyone knows me by the hat so let's let's be pika oh right on so it's stuck that way huh yep yep i don't even know who i am without it it's hilarious i'll be around town and they'll be like oh wow i didn't notice without the hat and i'm like yep i know <laughs> that, 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 that hat man's iconic man i mean i yeah there's another way i can i can imagine you <laughs> right right all right man so um where are you from i am from uh pueblo colorado it's a, Colorado? yeah, it's a small town about uh, south of uh, oh, okay. Colorado Springs, yeah. Oh, so like a really small place. Yeah, pretty small town. Right on. Um, and I also understand that you perform with a uh, metal band, is that right? Yeah, I've been, uh, I've been playing metal and with uh, bands since, whew, since I was in high school. Um, the one I'm in now is currently probably my fourth or fifth band, it's called Oathkeeper. And uh, we have a EP coming out soon. We've been uh, working on recording and all that, and we just got a full lineup. It's been a, it's been a kind of a pain to keep people in this band because uh, you know just differences or things happen and they couldn't play no more. But we finally got a full five, two guitars, bass player, vocalist, and me. Of course, I play drums. So, but yeah, we finally got a good well, lineup. You're, 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 in, you're, in, you're, in, uh, you're the drum, the drum guy. Yes. Oh, okay, that makes a lot of sense, because my next question is kind of, like, a little bit connected, but, like, how do you go from being in a metal band to making the switch to, to, to rap or hip-hop? Like, what's, what's, how, how did that happen? Like, just take me back a little bit. Well, I kind of, I've always just kind of always been interested in, like, hip-hop and rap in the background. I made beats and stuff while I was, like, recording metal and all that, and, like, I grew up with classic rock and country and everything that you can think of, and I wasn't even really introduced to rap to like I was like maybe eight nine I didn't even know what it was and then a friend gave me a CD and all that got real into it and that's just the history of like how long I've listened to it but like just making beats going from drums just the percussion aspects and everything just kind of came naturally okay all right I see that I mean I I think I believe I, I believe I grew up in a sort of similar background where uh, you know I, a whole bunch of different music uh, I grew up in Mexico, so whatever was playing there, then I moved to the States, and whatever was uh, bumping here, then a uh, home interest in hip hop, so that's how I got into it, but it's, it's very interesting to me because you go from playing uh, in, a, in a band, as you do, and then switch to, to the other genres, it's, they're like, I don't know, it almost feels like polar opposites, but mm -hmm. uh, it's always interesting to know how people get into hip hop, so it, it kind of makes sense to me that you, you play the drums and you have that, that beat in you, you know, so yeah, yeah, the, interesting. that rhythm's um, in you for sure. So, I guess, um, oh, that'd be an important question, uh, who inspired you, uh, or who inspired your rap career? Um, I want to say really, 
I w my little brother Forlorn. Uh, if you've heard the stuff, he was on with the skateboarding song with me. He just he was he's been into rap all through when I was playing shows with music the last five years. He's my uh, he's my lady's little brother, and we've been together for eight years now. So like I've seen him just try and come up and do his own little thing, and that's why I'm helping him now. And it's just he's been a like an inspiration to me to just start and get out of my comfort zone and do hip hop and different types of music and all that really that and just my sister and my parents just they, they love they support all the music I do and it just means the world to me so I just want to show them I can do everything right on man right on so yeah it seems like for the both of us there was that one person who, who brought us in mm -hmm. uh, our core to the to the hip hop genre yeah um any rappers that you look up to um, of course, you know, we, 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 we love the Rat Pack, of course, I love Silas, Logic has literally helped me get through some dark places, um, of course, I just, all, a lot of Eminem, you know, like, he was one of the first people I've ever heard, and then just a lot of the newer people I'm hearing these days is just, is, I'm so surprised, and I'm just inspired by so many, like, everything I'm getting turned on to, like, being kind of new to rap and everything, but, like, hearing it, the older stuff throughout the years, just really, I don't know, just kind of a lot of people are influencing me. The more I hear, the more I'm pushing myself, you know? Right on, right on. Yeah, that's, it, it kind of works the same way for me. Uh, I got I got real deep into uh, old school rap, but I think what kind of brought me into today's rap, the one person who brought me back into, like, what's going on now was Logic. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, because uh, just his, his, the way he raps is amazing, and now he, he kind of passed the torch to Silas, and yeah. he's also doing a pretty good job. Um, so that's what's, that's kind of like uh, one of like the newest rappers I'm, I'm listening to, and maybe some uh, here and there, but I still stick pretty much to the old school. Um, Alive, why why is that the name of the first of your, That's your first album, right? Yeah. Um. Okay, so why Alive? I chose Alive because I didn't really want to go with like the kind of cliche song name on the album as like the thing, and plus like kind of like everything I've been through since I started rapping and since I started like conceptualizing the album, towards this end, like with the song that you're going to be on, I literally, it's just, this music has just made me feel alive and it's, it's kept me going and it's honestly the reason I'm fucking breathing. Wow, what, that's that's fucking deep, man. And, uh, that's I always find it interesting uh, when a rapper creates um, a whole project based on like what they're going through, and uh, they put all that, uh, all that, all that that's going on in their heads into their work. And um, and I can tell you one thing for sure after listening to the album that I can I can see, man, that you are going through a whole lot of shit, and uh, you're spreading a very positive message to that album. Um, quick question, um, who made your beats? Um, one other person, um, it, they're, it's from The Void. They made, um, one that was on the album, and, uh, that one's already out. That was the one I did with Christian Taylor, and that's all I need. Um, other than that, I pretty much have made most of my beats. I know a lot of it, I use a lot of samples, so I can't fully credit myself for making, like, everything on it. But I'll take a sample, okay. and I'll flip it, all that good stuff, and then... I write all the drums, all that, the percussion myself, so. That's so amazing, man. It's just the, the, the amount of talent, I, I cannot, I cannot ex like, even begin to express how proud and, uh, I, I just fucking, like, like, like I'm, I'm a fucking nerd for all the shit you do, because <laughs> as, as far as me, I only go as a, as to writing, and that's about it. Can't, can't make a beat to save my own life, so always top respect for those who can, who are multiple, uh, can handle multiple things at a certain time. I appreciate um, it, man. So with, with that said, with all that said, with, with, with those details, how long did it take you to create this rap album? Well, see, um, I know Deja Vu was the first single. I wasn't even sure back then if it was going to be an EP, an album, if I was just going to drop a mixtape or something. And that was last June. And I believe by... She's probably around November, I started started to get stuff together figure it out and i believe i finished everything up around the beginning of april so a little less than a year i would say about what would that be june to april so like nine about nine months 
so once you kind of got started with it, like you were like for sure, you knew what you were doing, you just kind of boom, just I, I yeah, I just kept that momentum up. going. Yep. Mm -hmm. Like I was just fueled. <laughs> I was riding. I was I was at work. I was working at the dispensary at my weed job, sitting out there on the concrete with a notebook or my fucking phone, just sitting out there writing to my beats on break, any chance I got. Like, Damn. Man, that's crazy, man. That's yeah, crazy. Just dedication. Um, can you please share some of the hardships while working on this album? See, uh, a little after I started the album, my family was just recuperating from the apartment fire that happened, and literally we basically lost, I would say, three quarters of our stuff. And what we, I'm lucky to have what I did recover. Thankfully, I pulled out my laptop that night, got my cats out, my family, and we were gone. If it wasn't for me saving that laptop, I wouldn't have any of my music stuff right now. And basically, when I started writing it with Deja Vu, I was just, and uh, let's see, it's only for now. I was just really, really depressed. I was dealing with PTSD from the fire because there was a firework that caused it. And basically, that lit a bush on fire, took all three apartments, right? Yeah, just, it was horrible. But yeah, like literally, I hear fireworks when people are being stupid, and I still got that PTSD. It sucks. But um, yeah, I was dealing with that. Yeah. yeah. I was dealing with that. Um, I naturally have, you know, social anxiety, regular anxiety. And then just, like I said, all that stuff together just made, set off my depression, got into a dark place with uh, my, you know, my demons with alcoholism, some of that stuff, you know. And like I said, by now, like everything that I've done and what I felt and the, my support system I got and just music itself is literally like full of life that was the last song that I made that you helped me with and by that point I've, I finally feel better like it's been about two two full years since that happened now and so it's like it's, it's almost like music has been a therapy to help you overcome like all the hardships that you've been through definitely yes <laughs> Wow, yeah, that's, that's that's definitely an amazing story, and I've, I've always had the utmost respect for people who channel their all their emotions through music and through an artistic form, rather than fall, uh, you know, become a slave of the, the drugs and the, the bad habits, and um, just channeling all that negative energy through music is always, I think, the best way to go about things. Mm -hmm. That's another positive so, right thing, too, to keep me off that fucking drinking and just bad fucking mindsets it sucks but you yeah, know it's been exactly. it's been a lot better and I'm, I'm just so glad for it right on man hell yeah right on. um so I know as a it's kind of a trick question here for you but I know as creators uh every single one of us have like our like every single project that we work on is probably our favorite we can't say that I like this one better than the other one for the most part but I'm gonna have to put you on the outer spot right now <laughs> three songs from this album <laughs> okay well i've been promoting it as my my top tweet forever of course it's only for now it's it's I'm, i've tried to send a message all these poor kids are going through so many things in their life they have depression we have so many teens who this yeah, the teen suicide rate is just so high and it's just i wanted to write a song to help cleanse that or tell them you know you're beautiful you're loved people out there can care about you you know they do care about you and they will love you just gotta you know it's hard i know and then let's see the, se the second would probably have to be oh man it's hard all i need probably to oh man i know you'd say like you can't just pick and choose but I'll do all I need because it was just it was amazing to have my bro Christian on it because he's literally he's been my uh, vocalist from my band since I met him he's been my guitar player he's just he's helped me through everything he went through the fire with me too of course like so that one means a lot as well as it's from the void the beat maker he also he like if you know about the frequencies when people tune the frequencies to like the frequency of love or like stuff like that like the five to eight hertz he tuned that beat to be more like love oriented and it was that was really cool to work on a beat that has that feeling already in the beat yeah and then of course uh i would probably have to say a uh, full of life just to cap off the album because i just by the time i wrote it i felt amazing you know <laughs> yeah. Right on, man. yeah 
Um, yeah, I, it, you, and you will put me on a hard spot too, but <laughs> dude, I think the whole project is pretty fucking solid, man. Me I mean, too. From beginning to end, it's, and, and oh my god, just, I, if, if anyone, the, the fucking, the fucking skin at the end, <laughs> it's gonna be fucking cracking up, man. Oh my god. It's hilarious, dude. What are you kids I doing? Was to like, car, to it. <laughs> oh, it, guys. Guys gotta definitely check it out. Oh yeah, I can't um, wait. That's one of like the so, funnier things I'm excited for. But man, I, I, I can only hope for the best. Um, what what is uh what would you like the listeners to learn from from this album? What's the specific uh, main I like, guess main main thing you would like them to get out of this after listening or meanwhile listening? I want people to know that you can have these, you can have anxiety and depression, you can have all these factors in your life that bring you down and may hurt you or, you know, make you think you can't do what you want to do, but this album really is a testament of saying that I did this in less than a year, working through all my things, it helped me work through all my personal issues and my demons, and you can do this too, anyone can do this, it doesn't matter if you're drawing, if you're free, it, what, whatever your art is, or anything, if you, if you find just relaxing, and if, you know, you like, I don't know, for example, you like to take nice baths with a bath bomb, if that's your thing, freaking do it, if that helps you in life, do whatever you can, that'll help you in life, I've, I've made it out, I'm a personal survivor of, you know, my own dark things, and everyone, everyone can do it, and that's really what I want to spread. Yeah, definitely, very true, I, I totally agree with that, I think that, it's just, I think every problem has a solution, just as long as you're willing to, uh, like, have the, the will to look for that solution. Exactly. But, um, really, really interesting, so... What's, what's next after this? Oh, man. After this? Um, well, I've already started compiling more beats. I know I, we talked about doing a little tape together, too. Of some good... Uh, with the, of course, I want to get that good old... I want to get, like, a freaking vibey, old-school-sounding tape going that just brings it back, dude. Because that's going to be awesome. And then, on top of that, I want to work on... I want to start working on a second album of just some pure, just feel stuff. Because I know I put a lot more fun things on this album, because I want to break out with someone who's not just coming out as, you know, just that. I want to be, you know, I, I could be fun, too, you know, like, I can rap about some dumb shit, but, you know, that's not, I just don't, I want to convey that that's not going to be my main fucking thing, you know. Yeah, of course, of mm -hmm. course, there has to be that versatility where, like, we got, we got some, like, serious shit, some, uh, like, something with a deep message, some conscious rap, all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. And then some other fun shit. I mean, it's it's that versatility. I mean, yeah. yeah. But right on, man. It's, I'm I'm very glad to hear, and I'm very excited for uh, for the future. Uh, and of course, I only wish you but the best. Um, let's see. Just like two two more questions. Um, is there any message that you would like to send out to your listeners as of right now? That we are all one. We need to love one another. We need to come together. We need to make this earth a better place for us. And the people we're gonna bring in for the future. Right on, I agree. And any, any shout outs you'd like to make? Oh uh, yeah, I want to shout out freaking. Of course, I want to shout out you, Rhymes. I want to shout out Austin hey. Stevens. I want to shout out Christian Taylor and uh, it's from the Void for all being part of this album and making it happen and making it be just so much more. Just making me so happy to feature people that share the same vision as I do. Right on, right on. Mm -hmm. Alright, shout out to all the homies out there. Woo! And um, Oathkeeper, my band. Shout out to y'all, and... too. <laughs> <laughs> and one more question. What is the album dropping? <laughs> the album is dropping May 15th. You can hear it as of Thursday night at midnight. If you got it on Spotify, it's going to be everywhere. YouTube, it'll be it'll be ready. Let me know what everyone thinks. I'm excited for everyone to hear and to hear my little story I got here. All right, everybody, you heard of the big guy right there, May 15th. Make sure you check it out. There's no way you guys can't get a hold of it. It's everywhere, all right? All right. All right, it's everywhere. Man, I really appreciate this, man. I appreciate you too, man. All right, man. Have a good one. You too. Thank you so much. We'll talk right, soon. Good job, man.